Hey, what's going on internet? In this post-production tutorial, we're gonna talk about creating three types of accent motion graphics that can be used to enhance your work. I hope everyone's having a great day today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. So what are accent motion graphics? Accent motion graphics are graphics that can be used to enhance your current work. So perhaps you're working on a title animation and you just have the title by itself and you really wanna take your title to the next level. Well, how can you do that? Well, you can add accent motion graphics to add more style and a lot more attention to your title and it makes the overall composition a little bit more appealing. So in this video, we're gonna talk about creating three types of accent motion graphics. So we'll start off our tutorial creating our first technique, which is gonna be a line burst motion graphic. All right, so we got After Effects pulled up and it's 1 a.m. in the morning. So let's go ahead and let's get started on this. So, all right, so we'll come here and we'll grab the pen tool here at the top and we'll click a point, hold down shift on keyboard and we'll click another point over here and this will be a straight line. Now you might need to come here to fill at the top, click on that, set it to none, click okay. Click on the word stroke, set it to solid color, click okay. And then you can adjust the stroke width and this is fine. So with the shape layer, let's go inside of it, go to add and let's add a trim paths. From here, we'll open trim pass one, come here to the beginning of our timeline, and we will set the end percent down to 0%, add a keyframe for it, move forward to maybe almost a second, set the end percent to 100%. Now go back to the beginning here, maybe like frame seven, add a keyframe for start, move past the last keyframe by a few frames, and set the start to 100%. Now you'll get something like this, and of course we might wanna offset the start keyframes by a little bit, so it's up a little bit longer and you get something like that. So let's go ahead and develop this into a better motion graphic. So what we'll do here is grab our shape layer and we'll come here to the crosshair title action safe and we'll click on that. So now we can see where the center's at. And I wanna make sure that this line is gonna be you know, very close to that center, so right above it. So what we'll do here is I'll select my shape layer and I'll just use the arrow keys, hold down shift on my keyboard and my goal is to just line this up best I can and we'll push that above there. Then we'll grab the pan behind tool Grab this anchor point, and we want to make sure that this is going to be placed in the center of our composition. So now we just get this line perfect. Then what we'll do here is we'll take this line, and we'll go to Edit, Duplicate. We'll hit R on our keyboard for rotation, and we will rotate this. So perhaps we could do this right here to 90 degrees, or you could do 45 degrees. It's up to you. And then we'll take, and then we'll duplicate both of these layers. And we'll bring them to the top. And we'll hit R on the keyboard and we'll rotate these again, maybe by 180 degrees this time. So now you kind of get this crosshair going on here. And if you really want, we can duplicate all these, bring them to the top, and we can rotate these by 45 degrees. And we can even offset them in time by a little bit and even change the stroke color. And now you get an accent motion graphic like this, and that looks pretty cool. Now, now of course, speed is everything, so you might want to you know adjust as many keyframes as possible. And what we'll do here is we'll grab all of our shape layers and we go to layer pre-compose and we can call it line burst. You know, I can scale down our line burst and I can you know, move it over here and duplicate it. And then I'll offset these in time. So now we have one really cool element to spruce up this title and you know that's one element that we'll talk about in this video. So that is an accent line burst motion graphic. Now we'll go ahead and do something a little bit more on the side of shapes. All right, so now we'll talk about creating a shape burst accent motion graphic. So we'll come here and we'll grab any shape that we want. I'll grab the polygon tool because this is the most you know flexible tool here. And we'll just draw out a shape like this. And what's cool about the polygon tool is that you can determine the number of sides. So you come here to the polystar one, go into the path one, and you can change the number of sides you know, do whatever you want. You know, we'll just do, you know, we'll do like six sides. So from here, maybe we'll just turn up the stroke by a little bit. What I like to do here is go here to Polystar 1 and add a keyframe for scale and move that keyframe, you know, forward in time, maybe to like, you know, a half a second or so, and then set the scale down to 0%. So simply we just get this. And then we can make these keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then let's come here in the stroke one. And, you know, towards the end of this, let's go ahead and add a keyframe for stroke width and go forward by a few more frames and set the stroke width down to zero. And then you might want to adjust the speed of this and we'll stretch these out by a little bit more. So now we have this element that kind of just eats itself up and you know, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit more interesting like we did before. So what we'll do here is we'll duplicate this layer and then we'll offset it by a frame, maybe a couple frames here. 
and then we can change the color of this so you know and we'll change the color and then we can duplicate it one more time and then we can change the color back to whatever we want we'll keep it at white that's totally fine and now you got this element that's doing this and then we'll want to go ahead and pre-compose it we'll call it shape and boom and now we can take this element you know scale it down and you know duplicate it reposition it do what we have to do and now with our duplicates we were able to continue to spruce this composition up and this can work obviously by itself or you can add it other accent motion graphics so now we have our line and shape burst motion graphics out of the way let's talk about our third and final technique which is my favorite type of accent motion graphic which is a circle accent burst okay so now let's go ahead and work on one of my favorite elements which is working with circles so we'll come here and we'll draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard we can lower the down the stroke width and then we'll come over here go to add and we'll add a trim paths to this and i love trim paths come here to the beginning and we'll want to bring down the end percent down to zero percent add a keyframe for it we'll move forward maybe 18 seconds or so or 18 frames excuse me set it up to 100 percent add a keyframe for start we'll move forward set the start up to 100 percent so now essentially you just have like this line that eats itself up you know you can of course adjust the keyframes by a little bit make that line a little bit more noticeable and then, you know, select all our keyframes, make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And then let's go ahead and center this in the center of our composition. You can just go to the line tab and do that. Like before, we'll want to go ahead and make sure this is in the center of our composition. Um, just bring that anchor point there and, you know, should be good to go. And then we can duplicate our shape layer and we can just hit S on our keyboard for scale and we can scale this up. We can rotate it. And then maybe we can offset this in time by a touch. You know, maybe rotate that a little bit differently and then we continue to duplicate this hit astron keyboard for scale scale this one up uh, we'll rotate this we'll hit u on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and then we can shorten down the keyframes or something so this line's a little bit shorter and then if you want you can also bring down the stroke width here at the top so you get like a skinnier line and then obviously you can expand on this in any way that you want of course we can change the colors and then before and as before we'll pre-compose this All right, so now here is our composition with all three of our elements put together. Now, of course, there's tons of ways to create accent motion graphics. And, you know, you might not always want to create this from scratch. So that's why we've created our very own accent motion graphic pack, which has over 125 accent motion graphics in them. And you can easily bring in our starter motion graphics kit into any After Effects project by dragging it into your project window. So it works with any active After Effects project. And when you open up the folder, there are several categories for motion graphics in here from burst claps, clusters, explosion lines, and shapes. And we can open up, say, our clusters and bring in one of these compositions above our title or whatever we're working on. It doesn't have to just be title work. And as you can see, we were able to quickly just add a handful of pre-made accent motion graphics from our pack to enhance this within just a couple of seconds. And of course, you know, that was just a cluster. We can bring in some of our own personal single assets. So here's a line burst and I can come here and move this around, scale it down just like before and quickly duplicate it. And now, boom, we just added our very own single element motion graphics. And the best part about this, you can easily change the color of these elements by going into the compositions. There's always a control layer in all these compositions. Go to effects controls. And you see here, we can easily change the color in our effects controls to whatever color we want. So literally within a minute, we were able to enhance this composition with our pre-made motion graphics, whereas all those other elements took us about maybe five to 10 minutes to create. So this is a great way to save a lot of time and to quickly enhance your work and get the ball rolling. So if you want to learn more about our 125 accent motion graphic pack, you go ahead and check our links in the video description. It's on our website, sundukfilm.com, but that link's in the video description. So if you want to learn more about our motion graphic accent starter kit, you go ahead and check our links in the video description. It's on our website, sundukfilm.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed this After Effects motion graphics tutorial. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.